Okay, in our last video, we talked about the three different types of income and how to compare them. So we said that you could earn money by making a salary. You could earn my money by um, getting paid by the hour. And you can make money or you can be paid by a commission. Okay, so we did it by hand before, but now I want to make Excel do it because it's Excel and why not? Now that we know how to make it do things. Okay, so I'm going to make this. I'm just going to merge and center. Okay. So we had three job offers in the last one. And the three job offers were you had like a salary of 50 something thousand. You had an hourly that was like $30 an hour. And then you, ha <clears throat> you had a 6% commission. So let's just go with that. And we're going to make it do everything for us. Okay, so now I got this set up. Okay, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out like how much we will be taking home per month so that, that way we can compare. And then we're also, we know that things are going to be taken out because when you're comparing jobs, it's not just the income, it's also some of the benefits. So you could be making a lot, but then have like your portion of the insurance be like super high and it, it could actually, because of that, it could make it to where the other one that doesn't pay quite as much up front but covers for more of your insurance it could be that that one would pay more. So this is part of why we're looking at these things. So, okay, so like this say, this one, so per year, and it was like 58,000. That's dollars, I'm not gonna format it right now. So per year, we're wanting monthly. So this one really doesn't have a lot of, com doesn't have a lot of uh, calculations. All we're gonna do since there are 12 months in a year, we're just gonna divide that by 12. So we go equals. I'm going to click on that. So this part up here, the salary, the commission, and the hourly rate, those are your income. Those are your input values. Everything else needs to be referring to that. So I'm going to go that. I'm going to divide by 12, and that's going to give me uh, $4,833 per month. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this um, green because it's money. Actually, let me highlight it yellow, and then later on we'll change it to green. Okay, so that's my monthly with the salary, right? So now, I don't really have to do anything to that yet. That's just what I'm making per month. So the first thing before we calculate anything else, we need to know our monthly values, because then we're going to take out for stuff like taxes. Okay, so hourly, in the last ex exercise, we were saying it was $30 an hour. So per hour, and it was 30. So in order to get that to monthly, we need to kind of do some multiplication. So we know that there are 40 hours in a week. So per week, let me highlight this 30. This is going to be a yellow. We're assuming full time. So you might, you might put that somewhere. So like assuming 40 hour a week. Now, if your hours went up, this would go up. Actually, I'll even put that. Hours per week. I'm going to put 40. Because you could actually use that as your input value. 40 is full time. And some companies don't give you the option of working more than 40. They want you to like keep it at 40 because they don't want to have, have to pay you more. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go equals the number of hours per week times the amount per hour. And notice I didn't type those numbers in. I referred to the cells. Okay, so I'm getting 1,200 per week. Um, we're not going to multiply by four to get monthly because some, some months have four weeks, some months have five, some have like kind of in between. And so it doesn't work out that way. So what we're going to do is we know that there are 52 weeks in a year. So we're just going to go straight to yearly and then divide that by 12. So per year. So this is going to be 52 times whatever we got. And then now monthly. This is what we're actually looking for. This is just going to be our yearly divided by 12. So equals this divided by 12. That's my monthly. I'm going to bold that. And then I might even bring this down to make it more in line with that so that I could have things kind of, you know, easier to compare. So commission, so we get 6% of, of sales 
and then average per month, average sales per month. I'm going to let this be an input. So I'm going to put this right here. I think in our other example, we said $100,000. You might be selling cars. You might be selling houses. If you're selling houses, it's probably more than that because a lot of houses are kind of expensive right now. So I'm going to leave that as kind of an input. Um, and actually, let me make this an input. I'm going to put 6% right here. That way, these two, can you can change those. So if you're comparing, like if you're comparing jobs that both pay on commission, then you can, like, say one makes 5%, one makes 6%, you can change those. So then monthly, I'm going to put this down the line. This would be equals 6% of 100. So I just do this one. And since I already have the percent sign in there, it's going to format it for me times 100. If I didn't, if I type six and then off somewhere else I noted percent, I would have to convert that to a decimal first. So I would have to, it would be like 0.06 times 100,000. But since you already have the, if you put the percentage thing in there, then it'll calculate for you. Okay, so monthly, that's that. Okay, so now we can make a comparison table. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to, let's see, maybe I'll put it in the middle. So I'm going to put salary. Hourly, maybe I'll skip a thing. Hourly and commission. So I'm going to put monthly. And from here on, I'm referring to stuff up here. So my monthly for my salary, I'm going to go equals and I'm going to click on that. For my hourly, I'm going to go equals, I'm going to click on that. Interruption. And this one, I'm going to go equals. And when I'm the bell rings in a couple minutes, all students will report the fourth period. You'll be in fourth period the entire time, and your teachers will tell you when your classroom goes to lunch. Teachers, please follow the bell schedule for A, B, and C lunch connected to fourth period. So okay. when the bell rings, everybody goes to fourth period. Thank you. Okay, so once you have your, your taxes, you're going to, I mean, your income, you're going to have stuff taken out. So for tax rate, um, it kind of varies by income, but let's say you're going to be taking out like 15%. We're in Texas, so we don't have a state income. If you're in California, this is going to be like with your state income tax and your federal income tax, this is going to be way up there. It's going to be closer to 50%. It's going to be like 40 something. So, okay, so our tax rate say is 50% or 15%. So then we want to know how much of our tax is taken out. And then you've also got like Social Security and Medicare. I'm going to put social. So let's just say this is 6%. I don't remember the percentages, but we're just going to pretend. Okay, so I'm going to put Social Security. Our tax then is we're going to go equals. 15% times this. For the hourly, same thing. This times our 15%. And for commissions, same thing. This times 15%. Social Security, same thing. Equals 4,800 something times this. This one, we're going to multiply our hourly rate or hourly income, monthly income based on hourly. Yeah, anyway, we're going to do that one right there times our 6%. And I'm not putting Medicare in there, but that in real life, that would be taken out to equals this one times our 6%. Okay, so then, so this up here is called our gross income, because nothing's taken out. So now we want our net monthly income, net monthly. So this, let me underline these because this is like, this net monthly is what we're actually taking home. So what we're going to do is we're going to equals this one minus this one and minus this one. So we're taking both of those tax amounts out. So on paper, it's saying that I'm making 4,800 a month, but really I'm only making 3,800. So $1,000 is coming out in taxes. So we're going to do the same thing here. So I'm just going to copy. So Control-C, I'm going to come over here, Control-V. 
And this one, see, like, I'm not really making all that much more than that by the time you take the taxes out. And then I'm going to control C again. I'm going to control V over here. So then this, these are our monthly amounts that, that we're making. And once you get that, then we're going to start taking out other things like insurance and, and pay time off and your retirement investments and stuff like this. But for right now, this is what we're starting with. And this is how we would set it up in Excel to make Excel do it for us.